Hey everybody, it's Troy Stein. I've been working with software demos for about the last 15 years. Made quite a few myself and had the opportunity because of our customers to look at some really good ones and some ones that could use a little bit of help. I wanted to share some of these insights by looking at three demos today. Uh, one from a company called Redor, Redol, excuse me. Uh, one from Salesforce and one from Red Giant. Uh, they run the spectrum from simple to really rich and dynamic. Some are uh, probably done within the morning. Some are probably weeks of development, but uh, I think we can learn a little bit about music, about scripting, about simplicity, about um, motion, about stories, humor, etc. So let's jump into it. Uh, the first one uh, from this company called Riedel. Uh, they make an application called PDF Expert, and I got this one uh, from their mobile app. So let's jump over to it. I'm going to watch the 40 seconds of it with you, and then we're going to break it down. Okay, first, nice music. Simple. It's light. It's easy. It's feeling when you're listening to this like, I can do this, right? This is kind of happy, easy going, which means that the application must be happy and easy going. Obviously, there's no voiceover. There's no voiceover necessary. If they want to tell you something, they're going to put it in a little bit of text in the video itself. Uh, when they get to the end, they put a little bit of logo, they put their call to action, and they're done, right? Uh, so not overly complicated, uh, simple, right? Logo at the beginning, uh, they animate it on, they then show you the application, any of the text is up here at the top. If they wanted to tighten this maybe a little bit, I confess the first uh, couple times I watched this through, I didn't actually see the text at the top. Uh, so they may want to bring it down in the frame and or uh, gray out or, or somehow kind of fuzz out this just for a second so that you can draw attention to it at the beginning. Um, they also do a pretty good job of keeping things relatively simple in the UI. This has a little bit more than, than I might like, but it's still relatively simple. When they move on even further, this is great. And uh, what I also like here is this. When they get to the point of, of hitting this key message, which is, I can extract stuff. They actually add a little logo on top of it. So they're, they're hitting that message one more time. There's no story in this video. It's just showing features, but they do a really good job of saying, I'm going to show you a couple things. I'm going to put a little bit of text on here to uh, make sense of it to you. I'm going to make it feel light. I'm going to make it feel easy. 20, 30 seconds in, we're out, we're done. Here's the logo and here's my call to action. Go get it. Not a bad start. In fact, it's really very good. The next one uh, from Salesforce. These guys have, obviously, being who they are, they probably have a little bit better budget, um, but they still uh, pull off a pretty good one. And let me show you just about the first 10, 15 seconds of this. The Salesforce One Lightning App Builder makes it easy for... Okay, you can already, already tell the difference in the mood, right? This music is a little bit... Dun -dun 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 -bum 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 -dun -dun the Salesforce One. I just got a bit of a bass to it, and I think it's trying to like sound impactful. And and you better hope that your application actually meets that message. So match and your music to your to message. Quickly build engaging apps. And I think what they're trying to say is, dang man, anybody could do this. This is easy. Now right? everyone can build apps. So they're kind of showing a little bit more energy to it. They're also adding energy to it with some of their zooms. You see, as they're zooming in here on all of these different screens, they're doing these slow zooms. Just perfect. Just as I say slow zoom, they do a fast zoom. Um, but they're also keeping the UI relatively simple, and that's uh, that's pretty pretty helpful for folks so that they don't feel overwhelmed. Okay, Slight motion, simple UI. This one also doesn't have a story, which is fine, right? Um, it's straightforward, two minutes or less, and it's going to work into... This one actually has kind of an interesting cadence because it um, even if you don't have a story either be in and out and done or have a story. Like this one kind of goes and, and talks about a, a bunch of things and then it talks about some integrations and then it's sort of back into different features again. Uh, so have a flow to it. Um, this one, Red Giant, these guys are cheating a little bit because these guys make awesome uh, f uh, video effects software, right? Uh, so let me show you th uh, the first 30, 40 seconds. The problem that this guy has is he's got great software. It does all kinds of different stuff. It's all in this, uh, in fact, they got multiple suites. So the question that they're trying to solve is, how do people know which one that they're actually supposed to buy? So here's how they solve that problem. It's okay, I'm a little overwhelmed too. We make a lot of cool stuff here at Red Giant tools for filmmaking, visual effects, and motion graphics. It can be hard to know what you're looking at if you've 
All right, nice touch, really nice touch. Uh, so uh, they're connecting with the audience, a little overwhelmed, yeah, I get it. And then they say who they're actually targeting where they say visual effects and motion graphics right they're making people who need visual effects and motion graphics right so um let me peel it back one more time it can be hard to know what you're looking at if you've not used any of this before so maybe let's dial it back a bit and see what each of these do all right this is what i think they do really well uh, they show the ui only for a second just to give context they're not going to go into this application. They're not going to show you After Effects and the way their application works in After Effects. They're not going to show you how to dial a knob or to flip a switch or any of that stuff. What they're going to show you is the result, which is key, right? Nobody cares what your software does. They care what it does for them. So make sure that when you're giving a software demo that you're sh talking about and showing the results more than you're actually showing the sausage making. Wow, I'm a little underwhelmed now. Yeah. There we go. Now I'm whelmed. I like that. I think that is that is fun, right? They're they're having fun with the whole idea. <laughs> Whelm yourself. Uh, if you have a sense of humor, um, play that card. If you don't, like I don't, I don't really have that. When I can't write like that, I can't write humor into what I create. Um, so I don't play that card. But if you have a strength, uh, then use that strength and go ahead and and pull that out. They are, so they've got story, they've got humor, and they're showing the results. So if I can just break down these uh, a couple things from each of these one. Build a story if you can, a narrative that explains why what you're doing is valuable. Connect with your audience, know who that is. And then if you have a gift of humor, build it into it. If you don't have a grand story, but you need to keep people connected, then do things that are going to help in that regards, right? Keep it simple. Build a little bit of motion into the application. Put easy music into it. A little bit of text will work. You don't have to do voiceovers. You don't have to have uh, professional talent. And by all means, keep, keep it simple, keep it short, and then brand it at the end with a, with a call to action. And I think you've got the beginnings of a really good software demo. Hope this helps, folks. Take care.